All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the start of Watch Me Play of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, I'm excited to play this. So, I got this game on eShop. I think we're getting started. So, let's go, let's go ahead and get right to it. Good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. If you guys can read it, uh, I, I can read this for you guys. So yeah. Welcome to the check encounter for your deserted island getaway package. There is so much to look forward to. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nerd Geek. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in for a long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Okay, I will go with Trina. Yep, that's me, all right. And my birthday is February 1st. Trina, Trina, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Trina. Oh, my. Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. Wait, 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 where you are, you are? Uh, I'm picking a girl. I'm pretty light. I figure like this one here. Oh, so many hair colors. Oh, I'll just stick with brown for now. I'll figure this out later. Okay. So yeah, I just want pink hair. Okay, that's good. Both green. Uh, so I'll go with this one or maybe this. I don't know. Uh, I think the round ones would be better, I believe. Because the triangle one, oh man, that looks ugly. I'll just go with this one. Um, I think I some, pick up some cheeks here. Okay. So I go with this or without the ones and cheeks? I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going without it. Okay. All right. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add a picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting, exciting. You see, we are quite proud of your work we have done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Ah, oh, yes. In fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home? Oh, boy. Same one. So tell me, Trina, where you live now? Live now? Oh, boy. Uh, North America. Oh, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the white right island for you. So, naturally, we recommend that you watch it to the island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are four more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Uh, I just live in the Northern, so it's okay. Very good. 
We have a number of lovely uninhibited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of your islands are approximately the same size and they are all quite natural. So, don't worry about whether you have enough space or comfort, you can't go wrong. Since for your instincts to choose an island with a layout that looks appealing, that's how I'll do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. Okay. So, you can pick the island layout here that is white. I don't know. I think the first one. Uh, it's too many waivers here. But the second one. That's where this one is. Oh man, there's so many of them. I think. I will do. I think we'll do this one. Wonderful choice. Choice. <laughs> oh boy. I can't wait to show it off to you. Oh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only be my friend, where you deserted the island, where would it be? Where would you be? Um, I would say a sleeping bag because I sleep all the time. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Nurking will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Oh, my. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The Charlie Fly the Nurk Inc.'s departure a deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board shall make your way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together. Together. Oh boy. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this toilet flight as part of the Nurkings Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the complimentary video, video presentation about Deserted Island Life. Oh my! This is so cool! <laughs> that is so cool, man! <laughs> that is so cool! This is so exciting, I can't believe it. I made a deserted island here. <laughs> Finally got out of this weird world. I think that looks like a chicken here. Now we know must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home. <laughs> but I have one small request. Will you please join us for a soil orientation session in a nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I would hate for you to miss it. We're heading there now if you'd like to move with the left side to follow us. <laughs> oh my. Oh, who is that? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll talk to this. I'll talk to them later. Uh, 
Why now we do not speak to Tom Nook here. I believe Tom Nook is here. Oh, why is everyone? Let's see. Is, is that everyone? Let's see. It's Pucky here. Oh, Pucky's here! Oh, <laughs> Pucky's here. Oh, boy. And how about Sheldon? Oh! Sheldon! Oh, wow! Sheldon was from Chicago, but he moved away from my previous town. I can't believe I got Sheldon. And there's Trina, of course. Great, we're all here. Oh, turn you over to Mr. Nook. Oh, three adventures are ready to get started. Oh, yes, that's very good. Let's see. How shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, that's. This is the first day of your new life on a pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is the package deal, huh? As such, Nurking staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I would like each one of you to choose as far of your, <laughs> of your own. It's the first step to put it down some werewolves. I like to, I like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in a construction and real estate and oh, but I'm just getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. All right, let's go ahead and speak to Timmy. Here you go, Trina. Your very own tent. Oh my. Once you find a perfect spot, press the X to access your inventory, then select the tent to place it. Don't worry, you're getting a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And if you want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. Oh my. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you find it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Oh my. Okay, let's find a perfect spot here. <laughs> oh my, I need to find it. Oh man, there's so many plates. Uh, okay. Oh my, I was thinking I could put somewhere right there, I think. Okay, I think I imagine it. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. All right, I set up my tent. That's a big first step. All right, so I think I want villagers' help because this one is trying to set up my tent. So let's go ahead and talk to Punky. You, wait, I got it. Don't tell me, you're treated white. Right? See, told you I had it. I'm Punky. I gotta tell, yeah, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, chicken poop. Oh my. His cat's face is, or uh, her cat's face or chicken poop. You're always find a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it all, and figure it over forever, so. I grabbed the stick and threw it, and here's where I landed. So now, this is my spot, okay? I know there's only so far I could throw a stick, but I'm liking this. Looks good to me. For where, Chickapoo? For where, 
If it's so, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, looks nice, don't it? <laughs> looks great. Also, from now on, this will be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home, sweet home. Oh my. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. Did you walk to the pool? I wonder how that Sheldon guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you still go see if he needs help too. Alright, so I think we want to find Sheldon, I believe. Sheldon is somewhere. Oh, there's Sheldon. I can't believe Sheldon is in my island. I can't believe it. He used to be in my town in Animal Crossing New Leaf, but he did move out, so I miss Sheldon and New Leaf. But right now, Sheldon is here. That's so awesome. Yo, I'm Sheldon. You're Trina. Why? Nice to meet you, Claudia. You always sit up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find a perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fun here. I think this spot do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Trina? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome! Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together if I put my tent here? Oh wow. Pretty cool, right? Looks great. Alright, looks like we have a winner. I gotta put it down sticks right here and never look back, Claudia. That was a tough decision. You truly saved my guts. Oh my. Don't tell me your wedding help Pucky out too. You're like, like a true champion. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to spread back to the plaza, Claudio. Oh my. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep in... Okay. You can sleep on it for a while, huh? Really get to feel how suits you. Oh boy. There's something down like here. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like for an island warming party, we'll have the right here at the plaza with a warm campfire. Oh man, Holly's up here. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since you will be living here together, this will be good test <laughs> about teamwork, oh boy. Let's see. Timmy, Pocky, Tommy, and Sheldon can set up things here at the plaza. Meanwhile, Trina and I will work on a gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Trina, will you come see me for a moment? Oh my. Can't believe uh, Holly just came up here and uh, wants to ruin my video. Uh, girlfriend, I just let Holly get out of here. Oh boy. Sorry about the dog, guys. Uh, Trina, I just wanted to go over what we need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches to do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one laying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the pair of like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're wear pairs. Okay, so uh, I think there must be the pear trees right here because uh, on every long island they have uh, different fruits on this island here. So, oh boy, pear trees, oh boy. Go ahead and pick up this right here. There's so many of them, I have to pick this one up for the orientation. I'm gonna pick 
got more pears. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and check over there here. Oh, I accidentally picked that up. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's more right here. I got more pins here. Alright, let's see. Okay, I got 10 tree branches and 9 pairs. So, uh, I think we're settled. Ah, oh, welcome back. I trust you had some success for guarding your tree branches. But anyway, allow me to land your road. Yes, yes, there should be plenty for our campfire. You may quick work for it. I'm quite glad that you'll be sharing this this, this sort of item with such a hard worker. Oh, oh. And speaking of surviving on this desert island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. When we were collecting branches, I was embattling the fruit that seems to be unbunded here. They look like pears. They smell like pears, and they even taste like pears. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt generally pears. So, will you collect some of this for me? Oh, what's this? You already collected enough pears for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I know you're why. One for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh my. First bonfire. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Having developed a vibrant new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business equipment. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, him. Ooh. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we have to wait to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this desired island into you. I suppose we can call this a desired island anymore, him. But, what should we call it? Oh, okay. Tom Locke has an idea. I sense a great opportunity. As the first resident of the island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it into the boat majority of wolves, huh? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, so we have to just an item name. You can change this. This may be seen by others during local and online play. So pick an appropriate name. Um, pick an answer me in up. Dreamland. So that is the perfect name for Dreamland. So uh, you know Jojo Siwa calls it Dreamland because uh, I just went to DIM to tour in Kansas City and uh, Jojo let everyone took on a journey to Dreamland. So uh, Dreamland is a perfect island name. So uh, yeah, shout out to you Jojo Siwa. 
All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas at the same time. Ready? Go. <laughs> What a splendid variety! Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting, I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one who figures best. Trina seems to have a influence and a naming some beauties. Let's start here. So Trina suggests Dreamland. <laughs> well, that's the overwhelming positive response. Each and every one of you clap. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Dreamland. <laughs> oh my. Granted, then from now on, this island will be known as Dreamland. Well, Trina, since you prevent yourself by naming Dreamland, I'd like to wait on you for another critical decision. We'll need to make the uh, make on this island. Oh boy! <laughs> yes, yes. I hardly name you the resident representative of Dreamland. Oh man, I'm a resident representative. Trina, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Uh, uh, you can count on me. <laughs> huh, so, we're centered on the name for our island, and we're selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gonna. It's getting rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from pears. Our new resident representative partners on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Dreamland and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, I can't believe this. I mean, I, I just named this island Dreamland, so uh, yeah, and that's inspired by Jojo Siwa, so Dreamland is the best island here, so.